Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, or if it's for the first time we're just meeting, my name is Sean Ritter. Uh, I live in Wisconsin. It is a hot, steamy day today, and one thing we are known for in the state of Wisconsin is our fish fries. In the last episode, you may have seen me, I was out catching some fish for a fish fry, and that's what we're going to show you on this episode today, is how I like to do a good old classic Wisconsin fish fry outdoors. Not only are we going to do fish, but I'm going to show you my favorite potato recipe, and make sure to stick around at the end because I got something really cool to share with you. So. Let's get to it. Here's your shot. Holy <laughs> fish, bud. <laughs> I'm Sean Ritter. I love the outdoors, hunting, fishing. I work a hectic, not traditional job, and I love being a dad. This is my outdoor journey and how I manage my time. I'm here to help you rethink your time and join me, Return to Wild. All right, so as we get started on the fish fry, my batter that I use is pretty simple. It's kind of more of a breading. It contains three ingredients. It's got cornstarch, it's got a little bit of gluten-free all-purpose flour, and a bunch of cornmeal. I just take my fish right directly out of the bag, still wet, drop them in, kind of toss them around, get them coated up with all the coating, and you do a dance, whatever you decide you want to do to make sure that all of your fillets are perfectly coated with the battering. Then I like to take it and just lay it on a sheet pan. And I let it sit there for a while so everything can kind of set up and kind of get glued to the fish a little more. So this is my favorite way to do potatoes, my favorite way to have potatoes with a fish fry. And it all starts with some good old fashioned bacon grease. This is another time I make bacon, I just keep the grease in a little glass jar Keep it in the fridge, cook eggs in it, everything. Bacon grease, fantastic. Then it'll let us go to waste in our house. All right, now I got my bacon grease starting to render out. I'm gonna add in a little bit of onion and garlic that I pre-chopped up. Mm. Smell it. And wanna add all of my pre chop pre clean potatoes. Let those cook down for a bit. All right, as you can see, potatoes are just about done. Now we're looking for some of the color on there. Caramelization. Mm -mm. You do got to hit them with one more thing, though. Sacherets. Tony Sachet on everything. Just makes the food sing. Like it actually got it in the, the fish batter that I did. Sachet just goes good on everything. You got a seasoning you prefer, go with that. A lot of people use walrus, that could be used, but I'm just a big fan of Tony Sachet. In fact, you want to recommend one of your own, you know what to do. This is how we cook potatoes, typically over a campfire. Obviously, I'm not setting fire and just using the burner today, but man, these things, they are amazing. Just a little test. Oh, yep. They pretty much done. All right, we're just going to take this pan, get it off, set it aside, and then we're going to start frying some fish. I'm going to add just a little bit more on my oil. I'm using pure canola oil, peanut oil, just any kind of neutral oil. I would not use an olive oil or anything like that. To me, canola is just the simplest, the easiest. And we're going to get that come to temp. Once it starts getting hot, our fish are going. we got perch, bluegills, crappies. All that I caught as you saw the last time, and I've just kind of been craving this fish fry. It's been a while since I've done this, so yeah, I'm getting hungry. Uh, but anyway, the batter, real quickly, that I put on these fish, I'll show you. I like to do them ahead of time, toss them around in the breading, and then let them sit for a little bit. I think it helps to kind of hold on. I literally just take the fish straight out and put them on, but it is just a combination of cornstarch gluten-free, all-purpose flour, just a very little bit of that, and then just some cornmeal. And Tony Sachet, totally simple, completely gluten-free. You can't tell me you can't do gluten-free fried fish. My wife's got a gluten intolerance, and that's just kind of how we eat, so that's it. Perch, it's 
bluegill, uh, crappie mix somewhere in there, but some panties, potatoes. Looking forward to this. Have kind of a quick little test you can do to make sure the oil's hot. Take a little bit of like your batter stuff. And just start right away, you know you're good to go. I know the trick you can do to make sure your oil's hot is you, I, probably hard to see from there, but it gets almost like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Like you can kind of see it like moving, which also means it's time for a uh, beer too. This is referred to as a two beer cook. Someone, someone says, how long does it take to do a fish fry? It's a two beer cook. Penny girl, you hungry? Stay away from the burner. All right, we are up to temp. We'll start with some of the bigger fillets here. Check the perch. Again, away from me. I want to look out, little baby girl. I don't want you to get burned up, okay? You see right there. All right, next round going in. And I turned the heat down just a little bit. That first round was a little hot. that round out onto the paper towel. You see that is just crispy, crunchy, and gluten free. You can even whip up your own tartar sauce using a little mayonnaise, some sweet relish, and just a pinch of sugar. And there you have it. Wisconsin fish camp style fish fry. That's how I like to do a fish fry. More specifically, kind of a northern Wisconsin fish camp kind of fish fry. Uh, but I know I asked you to stick around to the end because I had something I want to tell you about. Well, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to drop a comment below. More specifically, a question in the comments that you have for me. Whether it's about me, my family, anything in my life, kayaks, uh, my kayak from Lightning, kayak fishing, whatever it would be. I'm going to do a live show coming up here uh, in just a couple of weeks where I'm going to answer those questions. I'm gonna go back over a couple of previous episodes and answer some other questions that I've had on some of my other social media outlets about specific techniques or things that I did while out fishing. So I don't know if you need to go back and watch a couple of episodes. I'll have some of them linked down below for you to check out. But again, drop me a question in the comments and be sure to check back that live show coming real soon, which also means you might wanna make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So if you're not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, smash that like for me. We'll catch you on the next one where we're gonna be back in the kayak with my little guy, yes. I took my son out fishing for the very first time and I got some tips for other parents taking their kids out for the very first time. So be ready for that coming next week. And if you wanna check out more kayak fishing, why don't you go ahead and click here. We'll catch you on the next one.